newlydanish.com. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, let's get ready to run. No, no, no. This is Melba's kid's poem, Javid. But anyways, just play. You've seen this before? Round of applause. <laughs> NFS Grunsby is very important for the Hoy Scholar movement. All right, next one. Yes, a lot of the questions appear in both tests, actually. We've seen this before as well. So Melbourne Escape's Pawn is just a slightly easier version of Impulse Pawn. A shorter and easier version. So actually, um, wow, okay, I'm surprised a lot of people got this wrong. For the people that are taking Melbourne Escape's Pawn, if you actually practice with Impulse at Pawn, the exam is going to, the Melbourne Escape's Pawn exam is going to be super easy for you. All right, 12 people got this wrong. Okay, this is a tricky question, a suspended sentence. Okay. Um, so if your sentence is suspended, suspended, then you don't go directly to jail, okay? Remember that in case you see this. This is a frequently asked question. So 12 people got this wrong. Now you know what you don't know. Or, you know, if the question is a bit tricky and the sentence is a bit tricky, read slowly, make sure you, you understand, and then you go ahead and answer. Okay, so uh, Huang is the highest climber up 14 places. Great job. Got 23 questions to go. All right, so Esbia is the biggest city out of the ones listed in terms of population. Um, five people got this wrong. Now you know what you don't know. Emmy is the highest climber up six places. Excellent. Next one. You know the answer to this. Oh, wow. Okay. Now you know what you don't know. This is a frequently asked question in both tests. Okay. Um, two members of parliament from the Faroe Islands, two members of parliament from Greenland, and 175 members of parliament from Denmark. Please remember that. Frequently asked question. Static top five. Static top five. Leo has a streak with four correct answers in a row. Perfect score. Oh my, he's on fire. Relevant for both tests. Let's see how you guys do. Also frequently asked question for both of them. Okay, so almost everyone got this right. Round of applause. So um, Gunlon was changed in 1953 to allow females to inherit the throne. All right, so Saj has the highest answer streak of five. Oh my, he's on fire! Next one. You've seen this before, you know this. Read the question slowly, then go ahead and answer. Man. Okay, read the question slowly, okay? In this case, they were asking about wind turbines. And sometimes they ask about um, 
pharmaceuticals, okay? And in that, if they ask about pharmaceuticals, it's Novo Nordisk. If they ask about wind turbines, it's Vestas. So the two people that got this wrong, now you know what you don't know. Now you know what you don't know. Please read the question slowly, and then go ahead and answer. All right, static top five. Static top five. Manos is up four places. Great job. Next one. Not so frequently asked question, but let's see how you guys do. Actually, don't know the answer to it. Let's see. All right, in uh, eighth class. Okay, so okay, a lot of you got this right. Round of applause. Right, some people fell out of the top five. Krish is holding that number one spot. Huang at number two, Savage three on the podium. Tom at four and Emmy at five. Tess is back with an answer streak of three. She's on fire. All right, next one. Yeah, you've seen this before, you know this. Yes, so Piers Croyer is him and his wife are actually one of two of the two of the most famous painters from Skagen, the north of Denmark, Newland. So Norland. Um, this is a frequently asked question. As you can see, it's relevant for both tests. So please, uh, the people who got this wrong, plug that knowledge gap. It might show up again. Tom fell out of the top five. Five players reached an answer streak of six. Great job. We've got 17 questions to go. Right, so the first railway lines were built in the 1800s. I think it was between Copenhagen and Goskula, but I might be wrong. Please check that out. Um, 10 people got this wrong. Plug that knowledge gap. Uh, let's see. So, Sessi is now in the top five. Five plays recent answer streak of seven. Next one. You know the answer to this. Oh, almost perfect. Uh, for the two people that got this wrong, now you know what you don't know. Fix that. Emmy back on the podium. PJ is making a comeback with three in a row. Great job. Next one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let's see. So Easter is in the spring. Two people got this wrong, fix that. Static top five. Static top five. Anna is back with an answer streak of three and she's on fire. She's on fire. We are almost at the halfway point. We've talked about this a whole bunch of times. I will not actually be doing any explaining for this if anyone gets this wrong. But let's see. Okay, only two people got this wrong. So between um, Copenhagen and Sweden is awesome. And there is a bridge by the same name. All right, next one. Static 
Top five, Sonia has the highest answer streak of 12. Perfect score. She's on fire. She's on fire. We are past the halfway point now. Of course you know the answer to this. Okay, perfect score. Perfect score. Okay, so Triple Y has the highest answer streak of 13, and that's also a perfect score. Perfect score. Great job. We've got a static top five. Static top five. We've got 12 questions to go. Um, there's almost 6 million people in Denmark, 5.9 to be exact. One person got this wrong, now you know what you don't know. Static top five, Leo is back in the game. Oh my, he's on fire! Next one, you've seen this before as well. And by the way, if you're taking Malboro Escape's phone, please read the book. the book if you're taking Melbourne Skip's poem because there will be new questions okay there definitely will be new questions um historically it was enough to just practice with the old exams but not anymore so please just have a glimpse read through please all right um some people got this wrong this is a frequently asked question so it's one that you definitely need to know the answer to this is the obligation um, military service, ob obligatory mil military service for men. It's voluntary for women. Steph is making a comeback with three in a row and he's on fire. Oh my, he's on fire! We have a static top five. Static top five. Ten questions to go. Yes, so the number of uh, farmers in Denmark has fallen because a lot of people are no longer in the business of farming and also because a lot of farming has been automated. So you no longer need large numbers of people to farm. Seven people got this wrong. Um, now you know what you don't know. Next one. Emmy fell out of the top five. Luca is in. So we have Krish, Huang, Saj, Sessi, and Luca in the top five. Three players reached an answer streak of 14. Excellent. We've got nine questions to go. You've seen this a bunch of times. Hopefully you all get this right. Oh man. Helatoning Schmidt. Okay, first female prime minister elected in 2011. She was a member of the Social Democratic Party. It will show up on your profile, so keep an eye out for that. We have a static top five next one. Triple Y was on fire. See this question before? Mm -hmm. 
So yes, you have to pay when you go to the dentist. It's not free, okay? Five people got that wrong. Luca is out, Tom is back in. Bob Gal is back in the game three in a row and she's on fire. She's on fire. Next one. Of course you know this. What? Is someone trolling me or something? Anyways, yeah. Denmark is a member of NATO. Denmark joined NATO in 1949. Um, so for Melbourne Escape's phone, you, to pass the test, you need 20 out of 25. So a maximum of five mistakes. Sabah is back with an answer streak of three. Great job. We've got six questions to go. You have to be at least 18 years old to buy cigarettes in Denmark. This was a new question. So I think this is May 2023. And uh, questions that never showed up before started showing up. And this is the reason why I say, please read the book, okay? Because um, there definitely will be new questions. All right. Static top five. Seven players hit an answer streak of four. Great job. seen this before in a different form okay so um they just asked the question in a different way um 1536 to be exact martin luther's ideas came to denmark they were spread by Hans Towson, if I'm not mistaken. And that's what led um, the king at the time to create the Dansk Folkkirk and become the leader of it. Okay, so nine people got this wrong now. You know what you don't know. Plug that knowledge gap. It will show up on your profile. Seven players reached an answer streak of five. We've got four questions to go. This is the most frequently asked question asked in a different way. All right, so uh, women got the right to vote for parliament elections in 1915. This question is basically that same question, but asked in a roundabout way. So if you knew that women got the right to vote in 1915, then the obvious answer for this would be no. So please, um, you know, the woman's right to vote is actually the most frequently asked question. So you definitely need, need to know the answer to that because it's probably gonna show up in the next test. Next one, Triple Y is back with an answer streak of three. Uh, this is the second time I've seen Triple Y. Excellent. Got three questions to go. Five to six weeks holiday in Denmark. You've got the right to. Static top five. Static top five. There's only been one explosion. Let's see if we can have at least one more. Hopefully you all know the answer to this. Okay, someone is definitely trolling me, eh? Okay. <laughs> someone put a, a blast on Suad and quickly removed it. I saw that. 
Anyways, um, two people got this wrong. You have to be 18 to get married in Denmark. Last question. Static top five. So at the moment, we have Krish, Huang, Saj, Sessi, and Tom. Andre is back with an answer streak of three. Excellent. Last question. Read the question slowly. So you cannot get Dao Peng if you're not a member of an A passer. Right? Okay, podium time. Sag, number one. Huang, number two. And Krish, number... What am I saying? Number three, number two, and number one. All right. So Krish is number one. Sassy is four, and Tom is... NewlyDanish.com